Well, when I got back to Raleigh today, I decided to go visit my buddy over at Ogo Toys. He's located over on, uh, off of Buck Jones Road. There's like a little shopping mall over there. It's not too far from the airport. He's actually in the back of a comic book store. So you pull up to the building, you'll see a big sign. It says comics, and he's in the back of that store. I'll put a link to his Facebook page down below with his address and everything. If you'd like to go visit Ogo Toys. Lots of cool stuff in there. Anyway, while I was there chatting with him, he uh, mentioned to me he got some new trading cards in. And they're the classic toys. Uh, these are from 1993. I think they were made by That's Entertainment. And they feature toys from the 50s, 60s, 70s. And also feature, you know, you know, westerns, dolls, cartoons, superheroes. A really cool line of trading cards. I'm looking forward to see what these things actually look like. There's 66 cards to the set. Uh, you can find them on eBay and things like that. But I like finding the actual cards out in the wild. And, you know, pick it up and open up the foil wrapper and see which ones you got. I'm not collected collecting, I've not collected trading cards since the last thing, the last that I tried to collect for was Tron years ago. Uh, I do have a full set which I purchased so I can make a special Tron video uh, showing putting the puzzle together on the back. I gotta quit rambling. But anyway, let's see what came in this. There's, it comes in a pack of seven. So let's see what we got inside of here. So we'll open the thing up. There we go. So got it open. So the first card we see here is, oh, awesome. It's a Robbie the Robot, mechanized robot. Now this was a classic toy from Japan. Uh, he walks, he's got a battery, he has like little gears and stuff that moves up in his head. I love Robbie the Robot from the Forbidden Planet movie. See what it says on the back. I like what they put on the back of these cards. Now this is card number two of the series. And it says, everybody's favorite robot, Robbie, made his debut in the 1956 movie Forbidden Planet. That's an awesome movie, man. I love that movie. At least a dozen Robbie look like toys came out over the next decade. This is a better operated mechanized robot from Japan, including with a dome that lights up and shows pistons pounding away. Now, these are prices from 1993. Current value meant in the box $4,000. Now, that, that was in 1993. Don't know what it's worth right now. It'd be kind of cool to look it up and find out. It was from 1950s Showa Inc. Pretty cool. So let's see what the next card is I got. Oh, the Beatles George doll. Oh, I think Ferg would like this one. So let's see what it says about the George doll. Made by Remco. Current value Lou 75. Been in the box 250 in 1993. It was made by Nims Enterprises in 1964 Remco. Each beetle came with lifelike hair and a small autographed musical instrument. Now that's awesome. Picture on this card is George Harrison, the quiet one. Now that's actually kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen these dolls before. Oh, the classic Matchbox cars. I love Matchbox cars. Uh, like Hot Wheels makes all these really cool looking streamlined and really radical looking cars. Matchbox made like the everyday kind of Joe kind of stuff, you know, like tractors and and semis and you know little race cars, things like that. That's why I like Matchbox so much, is they do a lot of the stuff that Hot Wheels doesn't really do. Hot Wheels is great too, but I love Matchbox. Say it back back here here. Current values five to twenty five. Yeah, that's going up. Nineteen sixty six to sixty eight. Leslie Productions. Yeah. Children collected Matchbox cars because they were easily affordable and came in large, diversified assortments. Yes, they were. Oh, no. An Easy Bake Oven. <laughs> My wife has always wanted an Easy Bake Oven when she was a kid. Never got one. And I've been seriously considering getting one in the box to have her do an unboxing video and then talk about why she wanted an Easy Bake Oven so much and then demonstrate use an easy bake oven i think that would be a really fun video to do I, I'm, I'm trying to get her convinced to do it but i had a buddy his sister had one of these easy bake ovens and it was kind of cool you know cooking with a light bulb you know that's all it is we decided we could make it cook faster by putting a higher water light bulb in there not a good idea because it melts the oven <laughs> it became a pile of convoluted plastic 
say on the back here, easy bake oven. Card number 28, current value $50, 1964 canner. From the heat of a regular light bulb, young girls can safely bake real cakes, pizzas, pies, brownies, pretzels, and candy. There is no oven door to open, and therefore no risk of accidental burning, unless you put a oversized light bulb in it. Small cake pans are barely pushed in one after the other through a cooking slot and a cooking chamber. <laughs> I've never seen the commercials for these. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. The large the large action figures, uh C three PO. I didn't have any of the large action figures that Kenner put out, but I do remember seeing them on the shelves. I thought they were pretty cool. I always wanted the R two D two large scale and the Boba Fett large scale figure. Those are pretty cool. Let's see what it says about it back here. C three PO large action scale figure. 50, number fifty six in the card series. C three PO the robot companion to R two D two from the Star Wars movie. Is one of the series of 12 inch large size action figures sold in the 70s. Pretty cool. Current value $150. Wow. That was a 93 though. Gotta remember, all these prices are in $93. Oh, yeah. The Green Ghost game. Now, I think our guy Norm from the Board Game Museum, he may have a video on this that he's done. Norm, if you're watching this and you've done a video, put a link to it down in the comments down below. If I can find a video, I'll put it in the show notes. If you haven't made a video on this, you got this game. Oh, dude, you got to make a video on this game because I remember playing this. This is a really fun game to play. The Green Ghost game. Let's see what it says about it here. From 1965, Transogram. Number 12, current value $45. Green Ghost was inspired by the popularity of other large three-dimensional board games of the 60s. The object of this glow-in-the-dark game is to find small green ghosts while circling the board and reaching into dark pits that contain feathers, bones, or snakes. Reaching into dark pits and grabbing things never does end well. Mm. Yes! And of course, here's the last card I got. The Viewmaster sets. Viewmaster was really cool. I had, I had a lot of Viewmaster reels. I had, mainly mine were... Uh, uh, from NASA that had space and, and trains and things like that. I did have some that were uh, uh, you know, TV based like Scooby Doo and, and I think I had one that was uh, I, can't, had, I can't remember what it was called though. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's see what it says back here. Viewmaster, Sora's Inc. Each set of these reels have seven full color 3D pictures from popular television shows and a sort of other subjects. Also included is an illustrated story booklet. So you have Monsters, The Addams Family, and Dark, Sh Dark Shadows. That was a cool series. So Monsters in 1993 are now worth $90. And Addams Family was 90 and Dark Shadows was 30 Wow. Every once in a while I run across Viewmaster sets out in the wild. Not really collected them. I uh, used to have one of those projectors that you put the reels in and shoot up on the wall. Now, I might need to get some of these again and do a video on some of my favorite reels. Huh. Yeah, I might. You never know. Anyway, gosh, I ramble a lot. Cool. These are really actually pretty cool. Classic Toys Trading Cards from That's Entertainment, 1993. Pretty cool. Great. Another series of cards for me to try to collect. I've not collected any cards since I did Star Wars and Tron, you know, way back when. I really don't need to collect another series of cards, but these are just too freaking cool. Now i got to try to get a set of 66 of these. So when I go back and visit Ogo Toys again, I'm going to buy a few more packages of these things and see how many I can get. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's Hasbro. Hasbro makes toys. What's new, Hasbro? Pretty sneaky, sis. <laughs> Remember, you can tell it's Mattel. It's well. Okay, let them go. Some of the great SSP racers for 72. M A R X spelled Mark, world's largest toy maker. Remember, every boy wants a Remco toy, and so do girls. And remember, if it isn't Duncan, it isn't Yo-Yo.